Combating evil in our time. That's the focus in tonight's preamble. Today is a national day of prayer. Those who believe in God are under attack as never before in America. They're under attack by those who believe in all-powerful government, a government that, among other things, wishes to kill the most vulnerable among us. A pro-abortion Methodist minister by the name of John Swamley is attempting to justify the slaughter of innocent babies by saying that children have original sin, thus deserving of abortion. This sick and twisted pastor isn't alone in his support of Nazi-esque practices of abortion on demand. Fake Catholics like Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, along with other fake Catholics in the Senate, support the slaughter of children in the womb. There are plenty more pro-abortionists in the Congress. Fake Christian Barack Hussein Obama is also an ardent abortion supporter. Now, lest you be tempted to believe that abortion cheerleading is an infection that is only suffered by Democrats, Three Republicans serving in Congress, Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia, Susan Collins of Maine, and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska relish the thought of dead babies never being allowed to grow as God intended. After you pray for their souls, say a prayer for those of us who have a civilized pro-life view. Left-wing pro-abortion thugs hit the streets after a leaked Supreme Court draft was released to the Politico that overturned Roe v. Wade. This has been the left stock in trade lately, hasn't it? If they can't win battles at the ballot box or in the courts, Democrats encourage their foot soldiers to hit the streets to loot, burn, beat, even kill in the name of Democrat policies. Their leaders are the first to call for violence on those with whom they politically disagree. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. As to the unprecedented leak itself, not one Democrat has condemned it. In fact, left-wing extremists are cheering the damage done to yet another American institution. Hillary Clinton's former press secretary, for example, praised the leaker, tweeting, is a brave clerk taking the unprecedented step of leaking a draft opinion to warn the country that's uh, what's coming in a last-ditch Hail Mary attempt to see if the public response might cause the court to reconsider? Left-wing fake journalist Ian Milheiser, who works for Vox, calls for the U.S. Senate to be abolished on his Twitter page and then says this of the leaker, quote, Seriously, shout out to whoever the hero was within the Supreme Court who said, F it, let's burn this place down. Didn't use the word F either. That's the crux of the battle America is fighting with anti-American Democrats. If they can't rule over you and enrich themselves off of you, they will hurt you and burn your country down. While they're at it, they're also hard at work trying to steal your rights. Do you think the Steele dossier included Russian disinformation? Uh, Senator, um, uh, th that's not a question that I'm equipped to, to answer. The, uh, it was in the public you. news. It was a, you may have heard of it, the Mueller investigation. It was a $32 million investigation that went over a couple of years. The problem you have is you're not even willing to admit. I mean, we can't even have an agreement on what the FBI said was disinformation. How do you propose that you're going to have an office of disinformation governance if you see the problem in even determining what is disinformation. <laughs> Senator Paul is absolutely correct. These people are the most unintelligent, intellectually bereft people on planet Earth. They can't police their own speech. What makes them qualified to police somebody else's? Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne put it best on my radio show this morning. So this is a party, you know, that's that's dictated that they can't define what a woman is, and yet now they're they're talking about women's rights. This is a party that's saying that men can get pregnant. Uh -huh. I, I, the fact that they they want to police truth gives you a completely different spin on what the definition of truth even is. How does the failed and unqualified DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas respond to Americans' demand that the government obey the Constitution? and not even attempt to police speech. Oh, Senator, because um, our work is not um, focused on disinformation writ large. Where we, the Department of Homeland Security, become involved is when there's a connectivity between disinformation and threats to the security of the homeland. Oh, 
okay, I get it. So all a left winger would have to do is declare his political opposition a threat to America, and then the government could take away their rights and their voice. But of course, you know, that would never happen. What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history, in recent American history. So there you go. Joe Biden saying that over 75 million Americans are extremists, a threat. It's my belief that these leftists have done some pretty shady things, my friends, and they're about ready to get caught. So in an attempt to avoid a reckoning from millions of people they've screwed over in recent years, the Democrats are trying to seize power, strip your freedoms and your rights so that their day of reckoning never comes. It's illegal, it's immoral, and it needs to be stopped. With a whole lot of prayer and some GOP and government house cleaning and a little bit of luck, it will be stopped.